Ready? We have our patient Henrietta. Um, and Henrietta's got some bumps here in the groin area, right? Yes. How, how long have you had these? The one about eight months, the other two uh, mm -hmm. recently, a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And just so everybody knows, you, you're giving us permission to video you for, the, for YouTube and the internet and everything, right? Correct. Um, and we're going to share this with our fans, and we're going to have a lot of fans that are very interested in your case because you have Crohn's. Correct. Crohn's. How long have you had Crohn's? I was diagnosed in 1985, so 30, 35 years. Long time. All right, so Crohn's disease is an inflammatory bowel problem, but it's also an autoimmune problem, right? Yes. All right, and have you had any operations because of the Crohn's? Yes, I've had uh, two bowel resections, mm -hmm. and then I've had two fistula surgeries. Wow, so and you've really had a rough go with mm -hmm. the Crohn's. Right. All right, and you've been getting bumps like this. Now, so everybody knows, all your lady parts are covered, right. okay? So what we're seeing here is just the upper left thigh area, okay, coming into the pelvis right here, and that's it. So all the lady parts are covered, so nobody get upset about that. But um, you've been getting bumps like this in the inguinal area, which is which is that area there, for a long time. Probably 40 years. 40 years. Okay, I'm going to tell you, you have a condition called hydradenitis separativa. Okay. It is also autoimmune. Okay, and we think it has to do with interleukins, which is a special kind of uh, protein found in the body. Okay, it's part of the inflammatory cascade. Uh, it's specifically interleukin one beta. There is a medicine that can help kind of reduce these. Now, whether that can be used along with you're using Humira for the the Crohn's, I don't know. That'd be something we'd have to research. But uh, there are some drugs that could help with this problem. Right, and it just all depends on how severe it is, how much it bothers you. Do you get any under the arm armpit areas? No, no it's just in the groin area. I was in the, and I, I was even in the have them on this side also now. All right, but you don't have any inflamed like this today. I have one that's okay. somewhat inflamed. Okay, but uh, all right, so we're going to treat this side today is what right. you want. All right, all right, right, good. Okay, so what we're going to do with these, and you have a nodular area here, you have here and here. We're going to just numb these for you, and we're, we're, I'm going to need uh, the betadine, please. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to open them up, and we're going to drain them, and then we're going to leave that there, okay? okay? So these will still need to heal from the inside out. You'll still need to do the warm compresses like you might ordinarily do. Do you have any questions? No, I'm good. All right. So you've had a long history of having to have these little dudes drained or working with them and things yes. like that, right? So I'm yes. cover this part really I've quick. had several of them drained over the years. Mm -hmm. We're going to do our best to make this as painless as possible. Um, unfortunately, the anesthetic, when we inject it, it is going to hurt. Uh, but we'll try to mitigate that pain with the cold spray. We'll do a little cold spray on there. And hopefully what it will do is kind of take some of the sting away from the little shot. But we have a super, super teeny tiny needle we're going to use. Do you use. need alcohol, Pat? Uh, yes, please. Thank you. We got Gonzo helping out today. You know Gonzo, don't you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Pretty girl. Thank sure, you. she is. Yeah. You usually see one of the other providers, don't you? I see Johanna. I've been seeing Johanna for years. We're big friends of Yo-Yo's. I sometimes help Jojo. Okay. Can you reach? Yes. Well, let's do a little spray right here. We're gonna do this. Are you ready? A little one. I'm ready. What's she gonna feel, Gonzo? Stick, sting, and a burn. A stick, sting. Gonna burn. Gonzo's ducking because she's gotten sprayed here recently, and so has Dr. Gilmore. Okay, we're good. We got that one. Now, this one's a little bit bigger, Gonzo, so we need a little more cold spray. There you go. Here we go again. Thick. Henrietta, did you do okay with that last one? Oh, yeah. So she's a trooper. We're going to go slow, and we're going to slowly just add the anesthetic, and hopefully it's going to do its job. Have you had any fevers or chills with these? Uh, not with this set, no. I have in the past, but with this one, no. No, okay. Did you feel much of that one? No, not too bad. Oh, yeah, a little bit. A little sting there, huh? Yeah. Not bad, though. Uh, okay, that should be we'll good. Be Gonzo, right. let's get this other one right here. Now, this one might might spray a little bit, so be careful. A little cold. Here we, here we go. Next one. All right, next stick. A little sting on that one, huh? Yeah, that okay, one. Okay, Doc. You're getting me. Okay, I'll cover. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go again. I think most of that medicine came on out. There we go. I hate to block the camera, but at the same time, we want the medicine to stay That's in the That's all wound. over my back. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Did it get you? Yeah. A little bit. 
It's in my bag. It's fine. Are you using lidocaine? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Some lidocaine with epinephrine, and this is buffered, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, right. sir. Good. So that shouldn't have been that bad. No. The buffering tends to take the sting out of it. I think if you can take a barium minima, you can take anything. That may be true. I, I, <laughs> I haven't had a barium minima. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you, this is, this is a piece of cake. <laughs> is it really? All right, Gonzo, we're going to be ready for the number 11 blade here. So nobody ever told you you might have hydradenitis separativa, huh? I knew just as soon as you told me you'd been getting these your whole life that you probably had hydradenitis separativa, and that's exactly what this looks like. All right, so we're going to make the first little stick. Are you ready? Now, if you hurt, you're going to tell me. There's the first one. Here comes the second one. Did you feel any pain or just some pressure? Just some pressure. Gonzo, we're going to want to try to do a culture on this one here, this third one, because it looked like it had a little bit of a... Which third one? That one? Mm -hmm. Just a culture at, please, ma'am. Anything coming out of them? Uh, not yet. Oh. But this one had a little bit of a, a, a head on it, so we're going to get that down in there. Mm. A little pressure. I can always give you some more anesthetic if you want. Your, your call. I'm okay. Deep breath. Grumpy's gonna be mad at me because I didn't get her. That's okay. She can't do them all. Okay. That one got you a little bit. No more anesthetic, right? You sure? So far, I'm good. All right. So we're gonna explore just a little bit to make sure that we don't have anything that's trapped, okay? This one was kind of small. That opened right up this one not much in there at all this one that this this lateral one really felt like you know it was it might have something in there but now that, that I'm getting in there to open it it just feels really nodular it just feels like it's uh, very indurated or very thick skin it doesn't feel like there's actually anything down in there mm. now this third one this one that's closest into the lady area uh, it did have a little bit of a, a head to it so we're just opening that up. You're gonna do warm compresses on these and allow these to heal from the inside out. One thing that I've read recently was very interesting to me. They say that people that, that have HS t tend to have problems with milk. Do you have problems with milk? You can't drink milk, can you? Don't drink, you don't drink milk, okay. Even milk products sometimes bother me. Okay, so we're gonna leave this here and we're gonna just put a dressing over this for you. And the big thing I want you to do is not put any antibiotic ointment on this. Okay. That's very important that you don't okay. close these back up. Do warm compresses a couple, three times okay. a day or do sits bath or hot soapy water bath okay. is fine too. And just make sure these all have a chance to continue to drain from and heal from the inside out. Now I know you've been on antibiotics, but I'm gonna keep you on antibiotics okay. and hopefully that's gonna help this heal. Now this one that you're saying that's so hard, mm -hmm. so that hardness is not gonna go away now that you, it's still gonna feel like I got a knot there? It's gonna still feel a little bit like a knot, it just needs to heal more. And that's okay. the HS. In other words, that's not, uh, what we were thinking that was might be uh, a, a, a loculated cyst or, or mm -hmm. cyst material down in there that needed to come out. And there's nothing in there to come out. Oh, wow. In other words, it's just an area of really thickened skin. Now that it's been incised, it's open up, it can drain, but there's not really infection in there. That okay. looks more like just an inflammatory uh, nodule than anything else. Okay. Okay. And clearly the other one um, did have a little bit of a white head on it, so we got that out for you. And, and it, it opened up pretty good, and we, that's when we did the uh, culture on. And it may or may not grow anything, probably not. The big thing is is that these are just obstructed, uh, obstructed glands and hair follicles and, and tissues that need to be able to drain, and they can't because the HS has so much inflammation that it just blocks everything off, and that's why you're getting these little cysts. Okay. All right? Good. All right. So well, maybe in a week or so I'll come back and we can look at the other side. Yeah, other whenever, side. whenever you're ready. Okay. See how these heal. We'll see how we do. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Good deal. Are you going to give me some material or, or I'm going to print. I'm so going to print. Absolutely. I'm going to go print out some stuff on HS for you. We're going to do that before you leave, and uh, I'm going to give you something for pain and something for nausea, and I'm going to keep you on antibiotics for about another week. Okay. All right. Okay, All right. Thanks. Well, Thanks, Miss Henrietta. You're awesome. Thank you. All right, guys. Stay tuned for some Meta 7 news. I like it. You'll like it, too. Scary. So tell us about Meta 7 in your own words. Well, 
taking medicine, I'm able to get up. I'm non-lethargic. I'm moving around all day long as if I were in my 20s, getting everything done. What, um, you mean you're not in your 20s? Burst of energy. <laughs> um, it's, it's a great thing. <laughs> so you like how you feel? I love how I feel. All right, and are you having trouble sleeping at night? No. And do you feel jittery, shaky, nervous, anything like Not that? Not at all. Not like you drank too much caffeine or took ephedra no. or used those monster energy drinks and Not stuff at like all. that? Nothing like that. Nothing. Marvelous. So you're going to stay on it. I'm staying on it. Thanks for your help. Okay, Alex, uh, this is Dr. Gilmore. How you doing, man? How you doing? Hey, we're good. We, we, Alex. We, we've been shopping. I got the, uh, the DW here. And the darling daughters around here somewhere but we're at best buy and, and we're really hunting for a good camera for our videos our fans are demanding good camera work are you gonna hook us up yep we have the sony 4k camera here ready to go with the zeiss lens okay hold it up hold it up there by your face a little bit so we can see it okay so tell me about this camera and why you think this is the camera this is an expensive camera this is, it is. uh it's like 1700 dollars, right yes it is all right now tell us why latest and greatest sony 4k does 4k at 30p yeah. Um, has, what does that mean? So it's going to be higher professional quality versus your standard 4K shooting at 24p. Okay. This one's shooting at 30p with a one inch XMOR R sensor. Okay. Um, it's going to give you better low light. It's going to give you better overall quality. Better low light's important because we sometimes yes. are a little dim. All right. So that's going to bring my my colors out better. Yep. And everything. Your color saturation is going to be more vivid. It's going to look amazing. All right. And um, how about zooming in? Are we going to be able to put this on a tripod and then zoom yes. in and see real well? So it's going to have your universal tripod adapter at the bottom. Right. Um, right. You're also going to have manual focus if you wanted to to yeah. adjust your focusing however you like um, you also have night shots I'm pretty sure you wouldn't use that but right, right. Um, you do have the capability of that okay so um, will a person be able to change the uh, magnification of the picture and then the camera automatically focuses yes that's what I need yes good this will get you everything that you need one thing that's pretty cool about this is it also isolates the sound so if you yep. wanted to focus specifically on a certain sound and drown out the background this will allow you to do that as well uh -huh. um, through the settings yep. you also have the external horseshoe right here yeah a hot shoe excuse me yep. where if you wanted to earlier you said you would like a light we need you a can, light you can buy a separate light attachment on yep. here to where you can that. put that on we there need to get yeah that we're gonna today. need to get a light too okay yeah. How about memory? How much uh, memory does it need? A card for that? Yeah. So it, it, it uses an SD card. Yeah. So mm -hmm. having an SD card will work for there. Yeah. Um, you also have all different types of inputs. Right. So if you wanted to put a microphone, you can. Um, just a great investment. You can expand on it yeah. as much as you like. You have all these manual focuses. You can zoom, change your different type of focusing, and zoom here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Looks good. Touch screen. Great. All right, man. We're gonna take it. Awesome. Thank you. And you're gonna uh, you're gonna personally guarantee that our fans are gonna love the quality of our yes, videos. Yes, you will. All right. Thanks. Better than better than the this iPhone. iPhone? What yeah. are you trying to say, huh? I mean, I'm not saying it's not yeah, gonna be are, great, yeah. but it's you're saying be... you're saying we've been amateur league for a while. No, we have been. We know. So that's why we're here. All right. Upgrade. Thanks, bud. No problem.